I mean, I get you wanted to leave and stuff, mm -hmm. okay? But why would you ghost us like that? Not even a fucking birthday card. I just... I thought if I vanished, you would all move on. But I wanted to contact you guys so many times. I almost did. But you wanted a clean break from us. I didn't want to be a part-time, pissed-off mother. Not fair to any of you. I left when Daniel was still very young, so he wouldn't remember me. Yeah. I wasn't that lucky. Oh, Sean. I know. Do you want to tell me how you felt then? Or now? I felt guilty that we weren't enough for you. Mm, yeah, you already said that. Something. I could start by getting his ass out of that church cult. Do you have a gun? I want to shoot something right now. So, what did you do when you left? Where did you go? I pursued some dreams and failed. Learned the lessons. I guess all this time I tried to find out what really matters to Which me. Which doesn't involve a husband and two kids. It does to a lot of people. And I totally respect that. It's just not to me. I wasn't good at making plans. Which is what most of modern life is about, right? Mm, you have a point. My mom and dad, they wanted me to follow their rules, their faith. Oh, I tried, but I wanted to find my own way. Mm. No secure blanket. Family, religion, social norms. It's just all about security, after all. But it all just looked like a sweet golden jail to me. I tried to escape that. Was it worth it? Yeah. I hope it was worth it. It was. For now, I've found my place in the world. With like-minded people. I'm at peace with my fuck-ups and my decisions. How do you make peace with bailing on your parents, your husband, and your kids? I know, that's hard to understand. Yeah, it is. But I think people should know who they are. Not fake it. I get where she go. I get where she's going, but I don't understand why she's going there. I'm basically Sean right now. I understand, but I don't understand at the same time. That's weird. So, did you ever actually miss us or Dad? Of course, Sean. I do miss your father. Mm. He had such a big heart. Yeah, he did. He and his heart was beating for him. Superpower. Oh. But above all, I miss watching you grow up. See how you saw the world. I miss sharing these moments with you, Sean. Mm-hmm. We used to do so much stuff. Like when you taught me to ride because Dad sucked. Or when we went camping near Vancouver. Just me and you. You always Aww. loved night skies. I did stargaze a lot when I was in California. Trust me, the further south you go, the better it gets. Okay, that was sweet. Whatever. You sound so... careless. It's like you can't even realize how much pain you've caused. I do care. That's why I'm here. To help you and your brother. If I didn't step up to help him now, I couldn't live with myself. But you could live with yourself before. I get it. I think. <sighs> I'm kind of tired right now. I don't know why. You know what? 
I go smoke hey. with her. Maybe that will, this will trigger more dialogue. If I go to smoke. Sure. Still kind of feeling. Oh, it's okay. I have mine. Wow. I haven't seen that lighter in ages. Dad loved that thing. I know. Only thing I have left of this. So she knows that Esteban's dead. No, man. Esteban hated when I smoked. He didn't want me to die an early death. Fuck. Life can be so cynical sometimes. <laughs> yeah, you bet. He would smoke sometimes. Long ago. We didn't fight much, but when we did. I would go out on the porch and light up so I could calm down. Esteban would come over and ask for a drag. <laughs> now we just look up at the sky, watch the stars. I do miss that. I used to do the same with my best friend, Mike. Sitting on the porch, just letting time go. That's when you know someone is good to you. And you can just sit together, <laughs> shut the hell up, and watch the universe do its own thing. That's true. I think that too. You know, you you know you're good with people when you can just be there and we should go back do and nothing. Speak. No. I gotta change this dressing. Okay. Oh, she bought me clothes. That's nice, Mom. Sean, I yes. know I can't change the past. No, you can't. For what I did. But this is about helping your brother. Yeah, it is. You gotta trust me this one time. Yes, I will. I know. And if you betray me, I will fucking kill you. But yes. <laughs> we have to be a team to rescue Dan. We can do it. Okay. How? We need to get in touch with this Jacob. He obviously knows a lot more than us about the church. Well, I called on you out. We can meet with him tomorrow. Okay, good. I also got these, just in case. Hmm, what is... Okay. Better take care of the eye. So, do you need me help with that? Yeah, sure. Yes. Go ahead. Thanks. So, you feel like telling me the story here? Well, Daniel snapped and he tried to kill me. <laughs> we have Almost killed me and Cassidy and Finn. Well, Meryl doesn't care about Meryl. But he almost tried to kill me and Finn and Cassidy. And if you hook up with Cassidy in her tent, he does try to kill her. <laughs> Full Puma style. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I love This is not funny. I think if I prove to her I trust her right now, she will trust me too and I will have the better ending, okay? The best ending. It's like I trust you, you trust me, you trust me, I trust you. I don't know if, I, if I'm clear right now. But I have to think about a case like that. Like you prove Here, to someone you trust one. them and they save you back in turn. Oh, an eye patch. That's better. <laughs> I'm a parrot now. Great. Thank you, Karen. Big day tomorrow. So we should get some rest. Yes, we should. Yeah. I'm ready to get Daniel.
Let's go, Daniel. Kill them all. <laughs> So Jacob, you there? You there? Jacob, you there? Jacob! Sure he's gonna show up? He better. He promised. Well, if he doesn't find us, we'll find him. I can't believe how much crap you guys have been through. Makes me want to punch in the face each and every asshole that got in your way. <laughs> yeah. Good thing we got to meet amazing people, too. Yeah. Life on the road is all about that. The sweet encounters. Hope I can see them again someday. Oh, I will. So tell me about Daniel. What's he like? That's cool. He's a cool little kid. I just didn't want him to grow up so fast. It's good you were there for him. Oh, what is a car? It's up. Do you have a gun? That him? Yep. Wait here. I'm pretty sure he had a beard when I saw him. Um, can you explain? Jake, I'm not mad, but you better explain everything. I didn't know where else to go. Listen, I, I saw Daniel come back to the camp that night. Like, he was in shock or something. Then I heard all these sirens and... I got scared. I just, I packed a few things, I, I took a blanket from your tent, and we, we left together. I also kept the cash you made on the farm. Uh, it's in my car. Okay, you did good. good. Right, Jake. Thank you. You have no idea what he looked like when I found him that night, Sean. He was in bad shape, with a gunshot wound, and all by himself. I, 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 I couldn't just leave him there. What about the others? Yeah. What about the others? Hannah, Penny, what happened to them? They, they ran over to Merrill's place when they found out Finn and Cass were gone. That was the last time I saw them. Then on my way out here, Daniel told me more about what happened that night. How scared he was. The blast. Daniel feels he's gotta redeem himself. What he did. Mm -hmm. I need to get to him, Jacob. He's not guilty of anything. I should have protected him better. I'm telling you to be careful with the Reverend Mother. She's waited her whole life for somebody like Daniel. The Reverend knows how to manipulate people. She's good at this. He wants to stay with her. Daniel has faith in the Reverend now. I'm not afraid of yeah, her. Not afraid of that Lisbeth of yours. I'm getting Daniel out of here. <sighs> Come on. There's no way they're gonna let you take him away. Too bad. We're not gonna ask for their permission. You must be Jacob. I'm Karen. Hi. Okay. I don't know if you want to do this, but I I have an idea. Oh? I think school must be over by now, but Elizabeth will stay at the church with Daniel for his special classes. That'll give us time to sneak into the compound before we get to them. I'll be on the lookout. Keep watch in case it all goes to shit. Sean, stay on Milwaukee. Sounds like a plan. One more thing. I, uh, we what? have to get my sister too, Sarah Lee. Really, Jacob? Come on, man. She's with your parents. I know. Please listen, Sean. I'm okay with that, She's but not safe here. She's sick. They believe in everything Elizabeth says. 
And she says she'll cure Sarah with prayers. I know you understand, right? Damn, yeah, I do. Jake. We need his help too, Sean. I'll do my best, okay? Okay, Jake. I'm listening. Elizabeth knows what's wrong with Sarah Lee. We just, we need to find her medical record. I think it's in her home office. Then I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. Okay? Okay. Fine. Sure. I'm gonna trust you on this, Jacob. All good for you, Karen. What if Daniel won't go with you? He will. I know him. Hmm. Getting close to the end, people. This is gonna be horrific. <laughs> I'm really, really scared right now. Oh, look, a black hole. What I like about this game is that the character with powers is not the character you control. So you don't have a a whole count you have you don't have a whole control over his actions. In the first one with Max, you decided what to do directly. But right now it depends on how Sean handles Daniel and how he becomes. To rem it reminds me of what he did. Pretty good game, Let me do the talking, okay? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I will. Let's get this over with. Okay. Oh, no. Elizabeth's house is right behind the church. So, you know. <laughs> okay. And you sure Elizabeth will have those files on your sister? Watch out, son. There are people right outside. Oh, shit. How many? Got it. Thanks. People aren't supposed to come and go around the church once the service is over. Better to avoid them if we can. What am I supposed to do then? A man with his child? Karen. Everything alright? Yeah, don't worry about me. Cool. Be careful, though. You never know. Thanks, Sean. I will. It's okay. I just go behind the house. And then behind her. She will not see me. Can I sneak? So, did you grow up out of here? No. In another community back east. When Jacob Shish. out here to start Haven Point, my folks followed her and brought me along. Hmm. Jacob Shish. Must have been hard on you. Kinda. Eight-year-olds don't want to go to church all day. See? Al Gucci. Okay. There it is. Looks empty. <sighs> Let's hope so. Luckily for us, we never close our door. Closed doors and closed heart, she says. Well, let's go. I can't believe Daniel really lives in this depressing house. Oh, we did it. Now we have a little bit more time. Yes, we do. Nice work. So where are the files? Right there, in her office. Oh, of course it's locked. Her open door speech is just another lie. We gotta find a way in. Fuck. Think there's a key somewhere? Maybe she's too cautious not to have a spare set around. <sighs> Whoa. The evenings in here must be so much fun. Are you okay, Jake? Yeah. No. It's just so full of memories and stuff. Hmm. 
Lisbeth sure likes to be on pictures. Damn, this is so artless. The moat and the bean. Excuse me, Jacob, please. Can you move? Oh my god, don't fuck me in the ass, bro. Thank you. Coaxing lesson one. Get Daniel his favorite cereal. Whoa. This place is worse than army camp. Scissors. Can I take that? This haircut makes much more sense now. This is a lot of pills. Especially for someone who doesn't believe in science. Mm. Might be enough to open that door. Hmm. Nah, I'll, I'll, I'll look again. Did she teach Daniel how to play this? Is this Daniel's room? Yeah. Man. It's depressing. Well, Elizabeth doesn't believe in material possessions, so... Doesn't mean you need to decorate your house like a prison. This is still better than that ugly white shirt she's making him wear. Oh, that's blanket. He still has that. Locked it up, so it has to be there. Fine, I'll let you know if I see anything unusual. Thanks, Mom. What is this? Daniel Fisher? Oh no, no, that's total bullshit and creepy. Got it. Happy birthday, Daniel. He looks happy. Fuck. I can't believe I missed it. Is she forcing him to do this? Why is he accepting all that? Oh, shit. People are really all over his power. So much for secrecy. Oh, excuse me, Jacob. The Book of Daniel. So much for a hot dog, man. No matter what happened, I guess Finn was a real friend to Daniel. Yeah, he was. I saw something drawing under his. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh, hey Jacob looks like this your sister and my brother are. Power bearing friends. <sighs> Locked, of course. Okay. Jacob already looked. At oh. Don't see anything of interest. They kicked her out of church? Now they're thirsty. 
Mm -hmm. I understand why she's salty. She surely likes to gaze at her own success. What a great fucking family portrait. There's a key. Is that it? Okay. I found a key. Good. Let's try it. Oh, shit. Looks like the Reverend Mother got this letter before Jay. Okay. What the? She's completely obsessed with his power. Okay, that's that's really really creepy right now. What are you looking at, uh, the Jacob? Hmm? Hello, Jesus. How you doing, bro? Nothing here. So will it work? Try the key. Yes, that's the one. Bingo. <sighs> Perfect. Whoa. Is this her personal archive or something? Yeah. She keeps track of everything in here. Stuff about my sister must be in this one. Okay, I've got something. It must be what you're looking for. Damn. She has pneumonia. Oh, that sucks. And from what I get, Lisbeth knows damn well she needs medical treatment. That's criminal. She's insane. Look, she has a file on you too. You can take a peek and see how she really treats her flock. Man, what's all this? Were you like sick? Conversion therapy? Do they wanted to cure you from from what? Being pretty much. I always shows more interest in boys. Oh, than okay. Can I hug you? Where's my hug option? Square Enix, where's my hug option? <laughs> Didn't you tell your parents? <laughs> you kidding? They wanted her to do that. Mom and Dad thought I had a demon inside. So did I. I really did believe I was a sinner. So I thought I had to atone for my sins. My God. After a few years, I was in a really bad place. I, I tried to hurt myself. Elizabeth was very upset. Seriously, though, why can't I hurt child. him? She told me I should leave. Go see the world and figure things out. I, I don't really get her, Sean. But Elizabeth does believe in all this stuff. I had no clue about your life here. I'm... I'm sorry, Jake. I'm sorry I brought Daniel here. I was just so blown away when I saw what he could do. It was like a real miracle. I, I thought I'd... I'd found my faith again. Instead, I... I just heard him. It's okay. I don't blame you. You didn't... Yeah, let's make this right. Let's make things right. We just have to get Daniel out of here. I hope so. And I'll get my sister to a hospital. Have her treated. 
I hope Seriously so. though, why can't I hug you? Oh, that's an option! Yeah, get a kid in here. Yeah. Anything would be better than here. Right. I just hope they can still cure her. So do I, bro. So do I. What is it, mom? What's up? This guy is dangerous, Sean. Yeah, the guy with the gun. Okay. Yeah. See what you can do. I will. Get ready. Sean, we gotta hide. Now. Come Hurry on, up. Jacob. Let's go in the closet. What? No, come with me. Sean, we need to hide. If he finds us here, we're screwed. What are you doing here, punk? Huh? Stop! Hello. Let him go, Nicholas. Ah! Trespassing too, you little fag. You were Shut up. Trouble. I'll deal with you later. Now come with me, you shithead. Oh Lord. Where the fuck? Let your power speak <laughs> through this young vessel. Speak to me, Reverend. Sean. What's going on? <sighs> Reverend, he was going through your stuff in your office. Jacob let him in, but I took care of that, Judas. Oh, Sean. Little lost lamb. How could you desecrate holy land? Sean! You okay? Huh? Yeah. Don't worry. Come with me, Daniel. We're leaving. I'm sorry, Sean. I can't. She's full of shit, dude. And she's using you. Daniel has made his choice, Sean. But I'm offering you to join us again. Put your faith in me. No. And you'll be family. Never. No. So that's your final decision. Yeah, it May is. The Lord have mercy on your lost soul. It's time for you to leave our sanctuary right now. Not without my brother. Didn't you hear the Reverend? Nicholas. Sean is just confused. We forgive the sinners. I'm not going anywhere. This is my home. She's my family now. Daniel, listen. She's not your family. Sean, who is she? Our mother. She came here. For you. Oh, praise the Lord. Another miracle at our church. Wonderful. <laughs> it's all right, Daniel. Go see her. I mean, she's right there. Don't be afraid. I... I don't know her. Of course. I know. This is hard for you, my son. Stop calling him that. You're just manipulating him, sicko. That's in the eye of the beholder. But since you are his mother, let me ask you. How could you let your child wander alone in the wilderness? Where were you when Daniel was lost? Where? Listen, Daniel. I came here as soon as I found out you were here on your own. I'm not on my own. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from Him. You were blessed with a divine gift. And you cast him out into the world. Who the hell are you? You might have been his mother once, but when you abandoned him, you also gave up your rights. 
Isn't your god all about forgiveness? You have no idea what the Bible says. How can you pretend to care about these two children? You left them and your husband to seek out your base desires. Daniel, honey, she's trying to trick you. Please, think by yourself. You're smarter than this. Daniel, she's responsible for what happened to your father. You don't know anything. No, she's it not. It was an accident. That's what this world is about. Accidents, injustice, pain. I'm just so sorry, Daniel. I know. I know how much I hurt you and your brother by leaving. I know it's not enough, but... I hope we can talk about this together. That's what I've been trying to tell your brother. And I'm so glad he listened. You gotta trust us. She's using you for her selfish desires. Daniel, this reminds time me of John, season yours. three of Walking Dead. Are you going to believe her? Like this weird charisma of antagonist, you know? I that's right. Yes. You can't tempt Daniel from this garden. He'll stay with us, his true family. And we'll never leave him. <sighs> Sorry. Come on, Daniel. No! Ugh. Oh my shit. Okay, what now? Don't you understand? This is over, Sean. You have to talk to him. You can convince him, Sean. I won't leave you, Daniel. Not here. Don't be so stubborn, Sean. Your I don't care if he breaks me. I won't leave him. Friend, That's it. Sara Lee. She's very sick. And Lisbeth won't take her to a doctor. What? She won't do this that. Is that. Daniel knows who to trust. I know. She went to see doctors for herself when she was in pain. She never waited for a miracle when she was in danger. What? Is that... Is that true? Reverend Mother? Have faith in me, Daniel. That's not an answer. I know what I'm doing. God is speaking to me. And to you. It's because of people like you that... She was kicked out of her previous church. Yeah. They knew she was crazy, so she left and found it Haven Point. It's because of people Why like you that everyone that? think religion is fucked up. Liar! I left on my own because they were all blind. Don't believe his lies. I should have Daniel. taken the papers under my shirt or something. I found a letter from Karen, her mother inside her house she hid it from you so you never know she's looking for you what you told me she didn't want to see me oops everything is burning hey nano back off no one you back off nicolas away from you i said stop <sighs> i'm okay i'm okay I'll just wake up, um, rise up. Yeah, get up. I came all this way for you, and nobody will stop me. I'll even cross hell or whatever if I need to. Sean! He must learn. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I won't leave you, bro. Listen. I didn't this reminds me of Walking Dead again. To be a good brother. When, da when David was beating up heavy. Took you for granted. I put you in danger, and I'm sorry. Sure. Don't listen to him. He, he left you just like that harlot did. Shut him up. He can hit me as much as he wants. I won't give up on you. Don't hit him. Don't let them do that, Daniel. I'm okay. I'm okay. It's okay. K keep punching me, Nicholas. I don't give a shit. If I could go back in time. I would. We'd be in our living room. 
in Seattle. That would get us pizza and snacks, then pick the movie, because we would always fight about it. And he always picked your movie. But I can't do that. All I can do now is fight. Quiet! What are you waiting for? We're the best team in Anno. Stop so it! So we have to keep going no. toward What are you gonna kill him? Please! He's my brother! You can burn down our church, but not our faith. Daniel knows you're telling the truth. Don't give up. I won't. Come on, hit me again, Nicholas. I dare you. Nothing. I'm Captain America right Nothing. now. I can do this all day. Daniel, we're brothers. Dad always said our blood link was the most important thing. You know that. Uh, please! Uh, stop. Uh, leave him alone! Daniel, Just push him already, listen Daniel. To him. I can do this all day. You won't stop. No matter what she does. I'll come right back. Again. And again. <laughs> I love you, Daniel. I do too. Don't move. Just stop. If you want to kill me, then do it. I'm not afraid. Do it! Shoot! Don't! Go ahead. What? Shoot me in the face. It's okay, it's okay. I was so confused. I thought she was someone else. I'm sorry. It's okay. Sean, we need what? to get out of here. Yes, we do. Now. Just let me get back up, okay? Excuse me? Burn in this hell. Move. Let us just, go. Just push her, Daniel. You won't leave this place. Not with me alive. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, move the fuck up. Open the door, then. Daniel, after all I did for you, you can still repent. I don't believe you anymore. Yes, that's good. I didn't have to shoot her. Hey, where's Jacob? Can I get back to Jacob? Can I hug him? No? Still no hug? She's going to. She's one. She wants to go back inside. Why? Just chill. Oh, 
Okay, we took back uh, we took back Jacob and Sarah. That's good. Oh yeah, yeah. Give me a hug. Yes. For a second I thought the guy or the girl was going to pick up the gun and threaten me. <laughs> and then boom, the mom dies, Daniel snaps again and the whole country is destroyed. <laughs> to wait at least three months before before the next uh, the last episode i think the fifth would be the last yes to be continued Whew. okay Okay, so everyone just just give up on Finn at this point. Oh, I could convince Joey, okay. Mm. Oh, and if Finn is dead, he's in the hospital, okay. Oh shit, right. I didn't oh shit I could give me the money to oh I'm so dumb okay so either then oh So, so I, Sean shoots Lisbeth, Daniel just kills Lisbeth, oh I shoot, <laughs> he's like, yay fly bitch, and I'm like, boom! <laughs> okay, so my brother isn't a homicidal monster yet, <laughs> that's neat. This is it. What? You made it, Daniel. What do we do now? Make our way across. You ready? A across what? Yeah. What is this? I think. Do I have it? The fifth episode? Okay, so I do have it. <sighs> so that's it for Life is Strange. And, um, and cuts. 